We all should have had a blank card and just put Tiffy. <laughs> just trying to figure out which Tiffy is the real Tiffy. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I'll pick Pippi number four. <laughs> oh. This actual Pippi. <laughs> 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 Alright, what it do everybody, this is your boy Pat coming at y'all once again and welcome to another episode of Social Media Ish. Now, this week has been filled up with a lot of things and I know the number one thing that everybody's been talking about is the whole H&M, you know, hoodie controversy where there was an image on H&M's website of a little black boy who had a hoodie on that read Coolest Monkey in the Jungle and ever since that hit the, you know, that hit the internet right there snowflakes everywhere just went just crazy everybody lost their shit from race realist black people to guilt ridden white people and uh, celebrities just virtual signaling all over the place everybody's screaming oh i'm offended oh i can't believe they did this that's race says and every all that right there so you know this caused the mom to even come out and say you know like this, this is not a racial issue. Everybody needs to stop crying wolf and everybody needs to get over it. In which they got offended by that. Talking about how dare you tell me how to feel about this situation and all. Oh, you just care about the money and calling her a sellout and all that right there. You know? And this woman is basically, um, you know, she's of Kenya, Kenya descent and she lives in Sweden and things like that. So she has, she has, she doesn't have like the, you know, the united states you know like attitude you know with well, a snowflake attitude all that right there where everybody tries to find anything and everything they can to be you know offended by it. because that's what um that's what a part of our society has basically become you know because we're just a spoiled ass you know we're just a spoiled ass environment you know like we're just toxic easily offended want to find anything and everything to be you know offended by just to say oh i'm offended oh i'm appalled that's racist that's sexist that's homophobic that's transphobic that's where a, a part of our society has basically become you know it's become a punk ass titty baby snowflake society and they're the ones who are always screaming all over the place talking about i'm offended and all this right here it's like how this person in this base basically said in this tweet you know that nobody can find the innocence in the, you know in in anything anymore in the united states they're always playing the victim and always judging people just so I'm saying so they don't have to um, they don't have to judge themselves you know they always trying to be basically you know like look at people talking about you're problematic and you're problematic and you're problematic but they don't even take the time to look at themselves they act like they're freaking perfect and everything has to go their way so this whole situation that's all it basically was you know it says these people just find anything and everything they can to just scream I'm offended and you need to change that and you need to do this because you know that's just how they are so it, there's been a whole lot of people who have um, made videos or said a lot of things about it and that's how i feel about it you know this was not an issue it's like there are parents out there who always you know black parents white parents all the right there who refer to their little kids as oh that's my little you know that's my cute little monkey that's my chunky monkey and all that right there because if our kids are rambunctious they play around and they're always full of energy and all that right there so it's not nothing racist it's just people just basically finding anything they can just to scream i'm offended now this next story right here is not only a nominee for the darwin award but it, it's a case that basically like you know you should just take one look at it and honestly shoot it should be laughed out of fucking court and it comes from the blaze where it's like student hit by car while protesting trump sues says school is partially responsible for her injuries now everybody remember like seeing um on news like last year when when they on um, when donald trump won the election he became president of the united states people got so up in today goddamn fifis man everybody was on the internet everybody was acting a damn fool crying ran all over the place and me man i loved every fucking minute of it i love seeing these motherfuckers act a goddamn fool these snowflakes were goddamn going crazy man but getting back to this article it reads a student at the university of california san diego is suing her school for failing to stop her from protesting donald trump's election okay 
it's like that first sentence that first sentence basically says it itself right there you know it's like but uh but i digress let me continue the university's actions caused her to get hit by a car on a busy interstate she alleges <laughs> it basically goes to say like you know mariana mariana i hope i'm saying her name right a u.s a ucsd sophomore was participating in a campus-wide Trump protest on election night 2016 when she was hit by a car on Interstate Highway 5 in San Diego. See, that's the thing right there. See, what it basically is like, you know, like um, when Trump, when they found out like um, Donald Trump had, you know, won the election and he was going to be the president of the United States, her and a bunch of these U.S. UCSD punk-ass titty baby snowflakes right here got all up in their damn feelings went out into on the highway on the highway of all places you know protesting and she got smacked by a car and it goes on to say the collision shattered her pelvis fractured her leg and caused many other severe injuries according to the art guardian ucsd school newspaper in response flores filed a personal injury and property damage lawsuit on the one year anniversary of her injuries. The lawsuit names UC San Diego, the UC Board of Regents, the city and the country of San Diego, the driver of the vehicle and the state of California as defendants. Flores argues the university is at least partially responsible for injuries because they failed to stop pro the protest after it became dangerous and spilled onto the interstate. It then goes on to talk about what the, the attorney says and all that right there. I'll leave the whole thing down in the description below. But what it basically is, is like this woman is basically trying to say that the university and everybody who she's named as defendants are responsible for her getting hit talking about you basically like you know it's your fault that i'm an idiot it's your fault that i got up in my feelings and took you know along with a lot of protesters and took it out into the streets trying to act like a damn fool because i'm crying because a person who i didn't want to see as president became president it's your fault i'm an idiot it's like is this what we've come to in the world right now where we don't take personal responsibilities for for our actions we always want to blame our actions on somebody else because that's exactly what this person is doing right now that and she's trying to get out of responsibility of all this all this debt that she's going to be in because just think man all the you know she had a what a crushed pelvis a, a shattered pelvis fractured leg and many other injuries and all that right there because yeah when you look at it man this car they were on the highway these people are going at who knows how many speeds you know miles per hour and all that right there and she got smacked by this damn car because she was up in her damn feelings out on the damn highway acting a damn fool and you got smacked for it so how the hell is it their fault you know that you you know that that you act like a little child that you were throwing a tantrum on the highway you need to take responsibility for yourself and you need to deal with what you what i'm saying you know what karma is right there you know because that's exactly what this is if anything man if i was the courts i know they got to take every case seriously man but i honestly man you got to be laughing at this bullshit like how the hell are you gonna try to hold these people responsible for your actions that's all on you also if you really want to see a good um video about this i really suggest that you check out matt christian's video link will be down in the description below and finally this next story comes from a BET uh, article which says Jenny Ryan refused to kiss a trans woman on live TV and now the internet is at war. Basically what happened is like on a recent episode of Celebrity Big Brother UK, Jenny Ryan, you know, was seen rejecting uh, India Willoughby, I think that was what her name is. Basically what it is, like, you know, that was a part of the, of the episode where she asked would he ever date a trans woman. He's, and he basically said, you know, he in a nice way that, you know, he would never date a woman if he found out he that she was trans. And India ended up getting up in her feelings about that. Not only did she get up in her feelings, but then she proceeds to forcibly try to kiss Genuine, which he, you know, like politely, you know, he backed away. And ever since that happened, it's like, you know, um, people on the Internet have started, you know, like basically, you know, like calling him a transphobe and all that right there. And, you know, basically, you know, like. 
you know like basically i like that like how they always do you know it's like when snowflake you know people don't get their damn way and shit like that they always want to live with you like it's like they always want to you know that's the only thing they care about it's like how my boy Sasu Tusen said in this video, which I'm also going to leave down in the description below. I really strongly suggest that you check out that man because he hits on so many points. But I digress. But like I was saying, it's like after that happened right there, it's like so many people took to Twitter basically, you know, calling him a transphobe and talking about he's discriminated against trans people and all that right there. But as people were saying you know like oh he's a transphobe there were many people out there defending genuine's right to refuse the um that this trans woman's advances you know basically saying that he has his own right you know he, he had them saying to his preferences to date who he wants and who he don't want and all that right there including choosing not to date a trans person and the wild part is like the people who are sitting up here labeling him as a transphobe or a homophobe or things like that are always these motherfuckers that are always on the tr uh, on the all these hashtag me too trains talk about yeah that's right how dare that person try to force their self on the people and things like that their body their choice and no they have the right to you know date whoever they want but when it comes to somebody who they you know what i'm saying you know who they're for and who they want to see you know people dating and things like that it's like how dare you not date this person how dare you refuse this person advances especially what because she's fucking trans see these are the riley j dennis's and the zinnia jones of the communities and all that right through you know they're down with hashtag me too victims and stuff like that as long as it's with their preferences but when somebody was um refuses somebody of their variety of preferences it's like how dare you you know it's like how dare you not, how dare you reject my you know my advances and all that right there you're a transphobe you're a this and that and all that right there which really gets on my damn nerve these people are such gigantic hypocrites like you know genuine has the right to his own preferences as well as everybody that's like you know like me seeing like you know somebody who's not black and i find them interesting and i want to talk to them and i want to date them but they sit up and say like you know i'm sorry but i don't date black guys yeah it might hurt me heart wise but i'm not gonna sit up here and talk about oh you racist you don't want to date me because i'm black oh my god you take your privilege and all that shit right there i'm like no she has her own preferences and all that right there and she has the right not to date me you know like she doesn't have to date me because i'm a black person and she doesn't want to be seen as racist that's bullshit and that's what people need to stop doing right there stop trying to force people to like live to your preferences and all that right there simply because it's somebody you want you know to date and you want to be intimate with and all that right there you can't force people to like you that's what the snowflake trans part of the community uh, well excuse me let me say let me say that again right there that's what the snowflake part of the trans community needs to realize oh you can't force people to live by your rules and your preferences but that's gonna do it for this video and everything in this right there and you know sorry if i haven't been doing my videos like i normally do but i'm trying to get like a better background and better lighting so my videos can be of better quality but until then it's like i'm going to kind of be doing like my ish episodes like this but i'm going to be changing up a lot of things and try to you know better my channel to you know in order to make it you know grow a little more so bear with me but anyway it's like if you like what you heard you know like do me a favor you know like share subscribe and backhand that like button as much as you can and hit me up in the comment section but anyway this your boy pat saying peace and i'm out